Welcome to part five of this training module. In this video, we'll take the variables generated in the previous activity to create connection circles. A key concept in systems thinking is that different parts of a system are connected, called interconnectedness, which is why intervening in one part can create changes in other parts. The purpose of this activity is to get you thinking about the interconnectedness of the system as well as to understand the concept of causal influence. Causal influence is when change in one variable creates change in another variable. For this activity, participants were given a large piece of paper and instructed to draw a circle on the paper. Next, they were asked to write the 15 variables from the previous activity around the perimeter of the circle. After they'd written the variables, they were then asked to choose two variables that connected and draw an arrow pointing in the direction of influence. For example, having access to community spaces increases the opportunities to socialize. And the more transient the population in the community is, the less there'll be a community identity. Arrows can represent positive or negative relationships. Also, if two variables influence each other, then draw two arrows in both directions, like this. Personal wellness influences one's opportunity to socialize, but opportunities to socialize also affects one's personal wellness. While doing this activity, you may think of new variables to add or decide to take some away, and that's fine. The arrows of causal influence can be generated based on your experience or on the data. Once you've linked all the relevant variables, you can then rank your top five connections. The participants in the modeling session were divided into groups of three and asked to create connection circles using their top 15 variables. These slides are examples of the connection circles that they created. You can see from the examples in the case study that participants found the variables they chosen to be highly interconnected. Understanding and recognizing these interconnected and causal relationships is the first step in creating a causal loop diagram. If you haven't already created a connection circle, take 10 minutes and give it a try. Remember, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about beginning to elucidate some of the patterns of interactions for the problem you're trying to address. This activity will help you prep your thinking for doing the causal loop activity.